Eric Johnson, Sales Engineer at Axonom. In this video, we'll be taking a look at how to create and manage a new event in the PowerTrack event management software. It's one of the powerful modules found in the Association Management Suite from Axonom. If you're viewing this video on YouTube, be sure to set it to 720p HD, otherwise some of the text will appear blurry. To create a new event, from within the Events view screen, simply click New, and a new event record screen will open. Of course, our event will need a name, so we'll have a conference looking at the WidgetWorks Superbus specification. It's important that we have a place to hold our event, so let's enter our location information, which is set by clicking this Find button, which opens a lookup screen to search for an account record. And let's be sure to enter the start and end dates and times. We want our attendees to know when to show up. The calendar tool will be familiar to anyone who's booked a flight online or used Microsoft Outlook. It's all part of that intuitive PowerTrack interface that makes entering data so much easier. And here we'll enter the maximum number of attendees that we'll be able to manage at this event. And we'll enter a description of the event here. Like many things in CRM, you can associate a price list with this event. In this case, I'll just use our standard price list. Then we'll scroll down to Marketing Detail where we can associate this new event with a marketing campaign that we're launching in tandem, which we've called the Mark II Spec Release. If you're not already familiar with Microsoft Dynamics CRM, marketing campaigns are a standard part of CRM that allow you to plan and run your campaigns, with the ability to track mailings, advertising, and other common campaign items. Next down to Online Registration Detail, the section used to create and edit formatting for the appearance of this event externally in the Image URL field, paste the path to the image we've selected for the event. Then we'll type in our HTML in the Display Description field. After we've entered all this information into our event record, we'll want to save it, which will then give us access to additional items we'll want to work with. What good is an event without any breakout sessions or roundtable discussions? By selecting Event Functions, we can drill down into our event and add sub-events, as many as we need. We need to name our event function, and the function needs a location within our event facility. Enter our start and end dates and times, and the status reason field. Here we have four options, based on how far along we are in our process. Initialization just means we've begun creating the event, is registration still open, is it closed, or is our event actually in progress? And we can enter the maximum attendees for the event function as well as the event. We'll want to put in a description of this event function. And we'll want to save this event function, so we can select Save and Close, or if we're entering more event functions, we can also select Save and New, which will give us a new blank record to enter an additional function. But at this point, let's take a look at some of the other items you can manage inside event functions. For many events, managers will need to track tangible resources such as AV equipment, tables and chairs, and other movable resources. This can be done within each event function by opening the event function tools, clicking on the Add New Event Function tool, and filling in the appropriate fields. Note that drop-down menu fields such as Tool Type are easily customizable to meet your specific business requirements. For the time being, we're going to skip over attendees. It's far more interesting to view that after we've taken a look at our external portal website integration. And fees can be added here to the event function, which is useful for breakout sessions that require additional charges. Each event function will be an additional selection for your attendees at registration, and the total costs are automatically calculated within the system. Note the three fields here, regular, early, and late. Regular fee means just that, with no discounts or late charges applied, where early and late fees add or subtract the amount, respectively, entered from the late fee, provided the number of days before start time window is set. So, in this example, the regular fee is $1,200. The early fee is $200, which goes into effect until 30 days prior to the event. So those that register earlier than 30 days prior to the event will pay only $1,000 or $1,200 less the $200 discount. And the late fee is $100 and begins five days before the event, so that those that register late 
will be charged $1,300. And here we'll quickly create a few more event functions, much like we did before. This is just so that we have several items to select later on during event registration. And there we are, with a few event functions for our event. Whether you'll be staffing from contract employees or internal staff, the PowerTrack event module provides you with an easy way to track and assign them to your event. After opening Event Staff and clicking on the Add New Staff button, most fields will be obvious, but Staff Type is to be noted. Selecting Contact pulls contact records up when you click the Find button next to the Contact field. However, selecting User pulls from CRM users that have logins to Active Directory. In other words, User is typically internal staff and Contact is typically brought in from outside. At this event, we'll invite product partners to exhibit to attendees. And for this demonstration, a partner of WidgetWorks, Motorola Mobility, has accepted the invitation and will be setting up a booth in the Expo Center. With the event accommodations feature, the PowerTrack event module can track hotel bookings, air and ground transportation, and similar information. And while this tool isn't going to call up Hilton or Hyatt and book your rooms for you, it's helpful for keeping on top of what room rates are, or who your contact at the hotel is, and other details about your bookings. In the next video in this series, we'll take a look at how your attendees can register and pay online through the PowerTrack portal software. With its tight integration with the event management software, it will greatly simplify how you handle event fee transactions and manage your attendees. If your organization holds events, contact Axonom today and make your planning and execution of conferences, conventions, and other events run smoother, easier, and more effectively. Yeah.